finally made it to the Basti market like three days before we actually leave. But we're here, yay! I love the poisson! <laughs> In another market near our apartment, and it's raining, and it's still packed. It's crazy. When you buy stuff, they also like shove little samples of food in your face, and it's like I just had a strawberry that is unlike any strawberry I've ever tasted. So now I made Mike go back and get some. Little baby, bestie, and and other market haul. <laughs> What's funny, we got these figs and we only asked for three and Mike went up and said that he want, we wanted three figs and the lady looked at him like, I don't know, like he was crazy. Like, you want three? Just three? <laughs> we can't take back any of the food because it's organic, organic stuff, so you can't take it back to the United States. So we had to get just enough that we could only eat here. But yeah, best strawberries ever. Melon. Yeah, just lots of good stuff. We weren't really quite sure what to do for dinner, so we decided to come back to the first place that we ate at when we arrived in Paris. Um, kind of funny as I was totally falling asleep when we were here the first time because I didn't sleep on the plane at all. But I just got a cloak and stew, and Mike got some lasagna and a beer and his mouth. We finally left the house today. <laughs> no, I was packing and kind of making sure I had everything together for when we left. We are now walking on the Promenade Ponte to Bastille. We saw a little wedding shop when we were over there and we're gonna go see if we can find something for our wedding. We don't know if we are but we're just gonna go take a look. We're gonna lock our lock on the bridge today and go check out the Eiffel Tower a little bit later. It's closed and we don't know why because that means that it's closed, open from Monday through Saturday <laughs> from 11 to 1 and then again from 2 to 5 and it's like 3.30 so they should be open. We don't know what's going on. Pasta is just kind of our go-to meal when we don't really want to go out. So we just got some of our the rest of our pasta that we had bought with some pesto and I tried to do an actual like and it was like a purple tomato salad. I was gonna do purple and yellow tomatoes, but the tomato was way overripe. So this here's some yellow tomatoes. I'm throwing some cucumber and there's some mozzarella and my drizzle turned into kind of a globber, but hopefully it'll at least be okay. Yep, so there is our dinner before we go off to lock our lock and then go to the Eiffel Tower. We're at the Pont des Arts and we have our lock and now we're trying to find a spot and it's gonna be tough. I think we found a spot somehow. There it is. We have added our lock to the Pont des Arts. It's kind of right in the middle so it'll probably get cut off before we get back. <laughs> the keys, we're not gonna throw them over the edge because I want to keep an attached one to my bouquet when we get married. And I don't know, Mike might attach the other one to his I don't know, but that's our luck. We just literally hopped on a boat to ride down the Seine and just kind of take a look at some stuff. Although we're kind of riding in the opposite way of the Eiffel Tower, which is where we wanted to go. Just went under our lock. Oldest bridge in Paris. I should just stop trying to pronounce it. Hold it.
that dropped off right by the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Bad, so we were just bad walking. <laughs> no, you're not. We were just walking underneath the Eiffel Tower, and some vendor guy like shoved a rose in my face, and like every, and we we're going, no, no mercy. And Mike doesn't even have any money with them, so he said, if you're like, here, buy yourself a flower. <laughs> in a lot of darkness, but also FYI, just be prepared to fend off people trying to shove champagne, cigarettes, and small guineiro. Um, Eiffel Towers in your face because <laughs> it's happened every like two seconds. This just makes me happy. morning so it's our last full day in Paris and we are going to be doing a food tour today um, we are going back to kind of where we were at that church um, where we got caught in a thunderstorm <laughs> and it's kind of where we're gonna start so I'll probably do something similar to what I did when I was in New York and we did the food tour if you saw that little vloggy thing I'll link it below but that's where we're headed right now If anybody else shows up. So here, um, and the good thing is you don't have to buy a whole loaf. You can just buy one slice if you want. Because they do everything by weight, which is pretty good. Bread chandelier. Did you guys all see that beautiful? Hey, it was here yesterday. Wow. Really? Yeah. Brand Made new. Of chocolate. This is the amazing shop of Patrick Roger. Yeah. So we're going to do a pit stop here on our way to the market because I would love to pick up some chocolates for later that we can have after our cheese and everything. <laughs> We're out with one of Mike's friends and he decided to walk us past the Amelie Cafe. So, Cafe de Dune. See, they got the poster. Can't really see it from where I am. Kind of dark. So, we missed the last metro to the stop near us, so we are walking back, not as far as if we would have missed the other one, but we are walking at about 1 o'clock at night on our last day in Paris in the rain. So yesterday we ended up just going out at night and then kind of staying out a little bit late so I didn't get to talk more about the food tour. It was amazing. It was by Paris by mouth and it was by a native American. So it was easy to understand and it was just it was just so much fun and so much good food. And I'll try and link that below. Her name was Sarah the guy and she was sweet and fantastic. But yeah, we are all packed up and got our apartment, all the sheets all ripped up and ripped up, you know. <laughs> unmade and, and everything ready to go so we are just about to leave our apartment to go to the airport to fly back home so it has been a great trip I'm sad to leave but happy to see my family and my cats who I miss like crazy I miss my family like crazy too so <laughs> it'll be good to be this makes me sad this is our bakery and it's closed I was gonna get bread last little bit of bread from our trip but oh well that was a bit of a kerfuffle, again, just trying to get our boarding passes. For some reason, when we put my passport in, it wouldn't print it out, but when we went to the ticket counter, we were just fine. So, I am going to find the bathroom, and then our flight leaves in about an hour or so. Going home. We are hot 
sweaty messes. So our flight from Paris was delayed. They were couldn't load the airplane or something, so we were delayed like 45 minutes. So it was gonna be tight as it was, but we ran all the way through the airport, and of course our flight back to Wisconsin was at the end of the terminal. So, but we just barely made it, and I'm gross, and I'm gonna go now. We made it into Madison, however, our bags did not. Um, first time I have ever not had my bags arrive at the airport with me. So hopefully they'll either come in later tonight or will be delivered to my parents' house tomorrow. So interesting turn of events in this whole entire flight home. Tell we're back in Minnesota. Back in Minnesota and to welcome coming back from France. I got one more French onion soup. We'll see if it measures up to the actual French ones. We were so spoiled with markets in France because we just got back. Um, the farmers market just opened up in St. Paul. And as you can see behind me, there's almost nothing here. It's basically just like flowers and then potted like starters. I'm gonna go in the sun. Ah. <laughs> Starter like lettuce and, and tomatoes and like still, I mean there's still some stuff here but no actual food. We have such a short growing season here. Miss Paris a little bit. So we are officially back in our apartment in Minnesota so it is now the complete end of the Paris trip. We're back. Our cats are out and happy and eating fancy feast out of the can. I don't, yeah. And we have some groceries. We actually have food <laughs> to get started. So we are back. I'm gonna probably do uh, what I got in Paris, like Paris haul and like what I've actually packed for Paris. And then I probably write a blog post about my tips and regrets, I guess. So I, so keep your eye out for that. And thank you so much for sticking with me the entire month while we were out gallivanting in France. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.